it is really fascinating to see that almost every week there is a new way to handle large language models and their outputs. Python is a de facto language of AI and I have been covering a lot of paradigms, a lot of frameworks, libraries, tools, modules in Python which you can tailor or customize to be used with all of these large language models. Guidance is one such paradigm which is not only easy to use but also quite nifty. It is primarily a guidance language for controlling large language models. In this video, I will be showing you how you can get it installed and then how you can do simple inference with it. You can extend it if you like. It is quite flexible as is the case with a lot of other Pythonic frameworks. As I mentioned earlier, not only you can do inference with it, you can also do chaining, you can do function calling, tooling, whatever you can do with LLMs, you can embed that simply with guidance. So let me show you a demo because demo always describes it well. I will be using Google Colab for this purpose, the free tier. Just you can select the runtime as T4 GPU, which is very generously provided by Google. So I think I already have some of my sessions, but that is fine. We will disconnect them later if we get prompted for. So first thing, let's install it. Installation is fairly simple. All we need to do is to pip install guidance. Let me run it. It is going to install um, guidance here, which is in the form of module. And at the core of any guidance program, we have immutable model objects we will see shortly and we will also be creating an initial model object using the constructor under guidance model and i will also show you anyway so you can see that guidance is already installed second step is to install um, llama cpp which is the secret sauce behind it and that makes it so easy to run models locally or in the colab and of course you can run all of these commands locally in your system and I will also drop all of these commands for you. So here we are just installing the Llama CPP Python. It is going to build the wheel and it, it takes a few minutes, like four to five minutes. So let it run. And by the way, for the purpose of this demo, I am going to use Mistral 7 billion model, but you can use any model here. That is the beauty of this. And I'm not going to use the full blown model i'm just going to use this gguf file so anyway so if you want to use any other model all you need to do is to go to hugging face website huggingface.co then go to that models page or, and then click on files let me show you so once you click on files you will see there are a lot of quantized versions there so for example you want to go with this 3.08 gp because that is much disk space you have just click here and then from here just click on download or maybe just right click and copy the link and go to your colab and simply download it with wget and i will also show you once it finishes installing this llama cpp python and if you are wondering what exactly this llama cpp python is it is a python wrapper for the llama models and llama stands for large language model meta ai it's a C++ library which allows developers to interface with Llama models using Python. It enables users to tap into power of models for tasks like text generation, language translation, and much, much more. So as I said, it's a Python wrapper and it makes it so easy for most of the NLP tasks. It's very, very lightweight and you can use a lot of fine tuned and other models like we are using it with Mistral and there are uh, whatever model follows the llama architecture it this should be good with that okay so let's wait for it to build this llama cpp python and then we will then resume our next steps so llama cpp is installed as you can see let's download the model and we will be using this wget command in order to download it from hugging face and this is going to take a bit of a time depending upon your download speed which seems really good to me today so let's wait for this one to finish as you can see eta is just 24 seconds so let's wait for this one to finish and i believe for the installation one this is the final step so 
the model is loaded here and that completes the installation. Let's initialize our guidance and then try to use it. In the first line, I'm simply importing the models from guidance. And there you see, we are using guidance as a wrapper, as I mentioned earlier in the video. And I'm using Glama CPP with the path to this model, which we have just downloaded. So if you click on this folder icon on the left, you will see this is a, a, a model. And I think I would need to remove the download is equal to true from the end. Yes. So this is a model which we have locally downloaded in this path. And this is the path which we are giving content and Mistral 7 billion instruct. And then we are specifying NGPU layers and also an underscore context. So NGPU layers uh, controls the GPU utilization. So this parameter tells uh, the notebook that the number of GPU layers to use for the model, setting it to minus one enables the model to use all available GPU layers. This primary, primarily means that the model will utilize all the GPU resources available for faster processing. Whereas N underscore CTX, this parameter represents the context size or the maximum sequence length that the model can handle. In this case, we can see that it is set to 4096, which means the model can process input sequences up to 4K tokens in length. Okay, so now we know what exactly this means. Let me run it. It will take too long. It is importing the models and then it is going to initialize the model which it is doing at the moment. As you can see, it is loading the model, the GUF format, it is the architecture is llama and all those hyperparameters, layers, what is ropes scaling and F type and a lot, lot of other stuff is happening. So let's wait for this one to finish. The model is loaded, guidance is initialized, and now let's specify our prompt with the mistral. Now, if I just scroll up a little, if you remember, mistral is simply the model which we have wrapped uh, Llama CPP around. And if I scroll down again, I am just concatenating that model with the string. Both have semantically different data types, but with the magic of guidance, we can do that. So. The purpose of guidance is to make sure you don't change your programming habits. You can keep writing the code as you have been doing for throughout your career. But if you want to um, use or uh, want to write or uh, leverage the power of LLMs, then you can use the same syntax, the same coding habit as you used to do. So I'm just concatenating with it and that is done. And now you can print it out. So let me do the generation or sort of inference. Let me add the cell. And then this is I'm doing gen and then max token you can increase of course. Again, I'm just generating and I'm concatenating it uh, with the lab. There you go. It says that because um, uh, it says it happened in Moscow in 2018. I don't think so. It knows about Qatar because the training data it hasn't been trained on that data. And so the final match was contested between France and Croatia and France emerged as a winner. And because we have just given the max tokens of 150, that is why it has truncated the output up till now. So you can see that how easily you can write LLM powered or AI powered applications and you can keep doing in the simple or similar Pythonic way, which you used to uh, do all of these years and this is not the only thing you can do with it you can um, do multi-generation you can do sort of you can capture the variable you can encapsulate the functions you can select among different variables you can interleave generation and control a lot of things you can do which is not possible to cover in one video but the purpose was to just to give you a flavor as uh, i mean a lot of frameworks are available just like guidance and this one is a really cool one. So you can do a lot of things with it. I will drop the link to this GitHub repo in video description. Play around with it. Let me know what do you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.